do that now? And welcome back to my channel, MakeLab TV. In today's video, we are going to try to understand how Helen Hudson did his trick on Britain's Got Talent. I will try to explain the mechanism and the basic principle of the trick. Of course, I do not know every little detail of how he did it. But the basic principle is very important and this I know. And uh, we're going to try to talk about this. And the main reason why I do this video is because uh, on Britain's Got Talent page, the comment section are turned off. So people are not allowed to comment what they think of the trick. So uh, feel free to comment below and say whatever you think uh, how we did the trick. I'm going to give my own version here. But if you have your own version and you don't agree with me, let me know in the comment section below. So let's start and uh, let's try to understand how we did this. First of all, I'm going to jump right here where Amanda is asked to sign the card. So if you're following with the original video, you will notice that she doesn't, she does not pick a card. It's the magician who right away asks her to sign the card the card right away like pick this card and sign it right there in big letters so she does if you could put your initials for me nice and big on the card and maybe like a little symbol as well nothing rude so she writes her name or signature or whatever on a card that she did not pick okay it's the four of hearts and the technique that he's using here is a, a double flip which means that is as a second card right under the four of hearts so whenever he flips the four of hearts back on top of the card and puts it in the deck he's putting another card in the deck and the four of hearts remain on top of the deck okay so i'm going to show you right here so uh, one second let me put it right here so right here is a double flip so which means there's a second card right under the four of hearts so whenever he flips it the card that is on top is not the four of hearts but it's another card so whenever he puts the four of hearts or the card that is on top in the middle of the deck the four of hearts remains on top of the deck and it's another card that actually goes inside the deck and then uh, i'm just going to show so you into the pack so yeah, this card here is not the Four of Heart. The card that is now on top of the deck is the Four of Heart. Important to understand this basic, basic principle here. So after that, he does his trick and uh, makes uh, the Four of uh, Clubs appear. Let me hang it, Amanda. You're right. Thanks, Amanda. <laughs> so boom, the Four of Club jumps in his hand. Well, how did he do that? Well, this is uh, a skill. Like, I mean, you can learn that on YouTube, how to flip cards like that. I'm not going to show you how to do this here. But the main idea here is the four of heart is still on top uh, of the deck in his uh, left hand. So there is a quick switch that you need to see. Okay. So he's showing her the four of club and... He pretends to give her the four of clubs, but he does not. I want to show you exactly what is happening because it happens very, very fast. Okay, he switched the four of clubs with the four of hearts that is on top of the deck. I mean, it's not right here. See how his hands comes together. He looks at her right in the eyes, so she doesn't look at his hands. And while she looks at him in the eye, that's where he does the switch, and he's gonna get the four of hearts in his hands and then he does a switch and then he gives her the four of hearts and she thinks it's the four of clubs and then she looks at it it's the four of hearts and she is amazed and I, there's something i want to show you here okay look. look at this here very important this image here is the most important image of the whole video look at the signature and i want you to look between the two hearts on top here how the a of amanda is going all the way up 
to uh, the top of the heart. And if we look at the bottom parts here, there is no, no lines, no signature at all. So the A here is coming up. It's very important to understand this because uh, later in this video, which is going to be almost now, uh, you will see that it's not the same card. That the magician had a fake card where he had a, a fake signature on it. And that's the card that he puts in the deck. Okay? How he does it exactly, all the details, it's hard to tell because there's so many editings with, uh, with this video that it's hard to... Uh, to find out all of his moves but mainly important to understand is this card is not going to be going to be the same so understand uh, a here is going all the way up to at least half of the heart here so now we're going to move forward is a good he's going to make his car or car disappear but it's not spectacular. Now look, in fact, Amanda, look at this here okay could you please Please put your card inside the deck. We can see a little line here, like if it was our signature, it does it this way, so we think that it's our card. But if you look carefully, the line here is not the same as how she signed it. So you can really easily tell that it's not the same card. So whatever card he puts in there, it's not Amanda's card. Where is Amanda's card? I think that because of all of the editing and everything, we don't really know uh, where he, he has he put it. He probably put it uh, in his sleeve or in his jacket. And there is a mechanism that will uh, pull the, the card out whenever they all fly into the hair. But important to understand that this card here is not Amanda's card. Okay, that's the main basic principle of this trick. That's how he fooled everybody. So then he puts the deck in there. But all of this time, Amanda's card is already inside uh, the Magician Allen Unsen jacket. And with a mechanism, which I don't know the mechanism. I got to admit, I don't know what mechanism he's using. But I know that the card, Amanda's card, is not in the box on the floor. But it's already in his jacket. So uh, that's what happens here. I'm just going to show you. She wraps him around. Very funny. Very funny. Wraps him around. And then, boom. We're going to stop right here. Uh, it's kind of pointless to go slow motion, which I did several times. But uh, whenever the card flies in the air, it does a weird movement with his body. And probably by doing this weird movement with his body, it probably triggers... The small mechanism that's going to pull the card out. So let's uh, actually, I'm going to go slow motion just for the thrill of it. All right. So let's go slow motion. And boom, we see the card appear right under his shirt. You can do it as well at the, in slow motion, and you will see the card appear inside of the wrapping thing here. So you can see that he's doing some kind of a movement of like bending or something. And the card appears here. And then again, we can see that it's not the same card and the same signature as the card he has put back in the deck. That's it. Very simple. I hope you understand the principle of this trick, the basics. If you have your own idea on how kind of mechanism he used uh, to make this card appear inside of his jacket here what kind of mechanism he has inside his jacket let me know in the comment section below thank you for watching have a great day see you very soon